Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Review. So today we're doing July's Perfume Talk, which I've been kind of procrastinating to do and I just decided to sit down and finally do it. So, perfumes new that are coming out that I'm excited about, obviously everyone already knows about Ari by Ariana Grande, super excited about that, not sure exact releases, I've heard a lot of people say something about September, but I'm not 100% sure on that since it did get a like... When they said that, they also talked about, like, it being called Daydream, and we've already learned that it's not called Daydream, so there's that. Um, definitely excited if you guys read the Cosmo issue with uh, Nicki Minaj on the front. She talked about her fourth perfume coming out this fall. Overly excited about that one. Cannot wait for that. I just want her to release it so I can, like, I want her to release the information about it so I can finally talk about it with you guys, because... I know I've said a couple times in different videos there's a perfume coming up that I really want to talk about with you guys, and it's that one. So, um, definitely excited about the new One Direction called Between Us, which I'm excited about, but also kind of put off by it since it's got, like, nutmeg in it, which it doesn't completely throw me off, but it's just a little, like, odd to throw that in there with especially some of the other things that are in there. But who knows, it could be really, really good. Um, I would tell you guys that I'm excited about the new Jennifer Aniston, but as you guys already saw, I already got that. Um, what else is coming out that I, uh, it's not really out, not coming out, it's already out in the UK, and that's Gold Magic by Little Mix. Really can't wait for that to get launched here. They did say something about it getting launched elsewhere outside the UK. Can't wait for that to come out. I know it's available, thanks to one of my followers on Twitter. It's currently available on... Um, Amazon, but I don't really want to order it directly from the UK, like, especially if it's going to come here and I know I can get it cheaper. Um, Beyonce's Heat Kissed, which can't wait for, we got the notes for, I'm excited for, but not excited for, because I'm excited for the top notes, but then you've got Rose in the Heart, which, if you know Beyonce fragrances, they're almost always to the extreme on the notes, and if you know what I mean, if you know Beyonce fragrances, you know what I mean by that. So I'm a little off-put by that, especially because it's got Rose in the Heart and Patchouli in the Base. We'll see what happens. I hope it's not just another mess of Midnight Heat. Um, I'm excited about, uh, still excited about Mad Potion. I have it. Um, I actually went and I made this on a fun loom, which is like a bracelet making thingy. It's a little like rubber band bracelet thing, but it's in, and now it's all twisted. Anyway, it's in Mad Potion colors. So it's like purple and black and light purple and dark purple and black and white. So, um, other perfumes coming out that I'm excited about? Oh, Shakira's Ro Love Rock. Um, excited about that because I like the bottle design for Rock, even though it smells similar to, um, Aphrodisiac Elixir a little bit. Not Aphrodisiac, S. Aquamarine in my opinion, but it could still be really, really good. Um... The notes throw me off just a little bit, but I'm really excited about that bottle, um, which I'll pull up on my Instagram and show you guys. There's the bottle for it. It's I love the pink in it, or red, or I, I'm gonna go with like a fuchsia. That's what that's where we're kind of going with that. Um, what else, perfume wise? Not really a whole lot. I mean, I've obsessed about Bath and Body Works lately, which you guys know about from my previous two haul videos. I'm not even going to do a haul for Pop Tales, but I did buy one, two, three, four, five, five or six, six candles from the Pop Tales collection, and, um, no, seven candles from the Pop Tales collection. Is that right? Yeah. Seven candles from the Pop Tales collection, did a bunch of couponing, got a bunch of, of the, uh, body creams for free because they had a coupon for ten dollars or ten dollar purchase you get a body cream for free or what or not body cream but a signature collection on for free so um what else I wanted to get a little kind of serious with you guys for once um I know I don't really go too deep into serious things and then I'll end this with some more like non-serious things but I wanted to get 
kind of more serious things. Several things have happened in the last month or so since I did June's perfume talk, and June's perfume talk was even short. So, um, first thing I want to talk about, obviously, gay marriage being legal in all 50 states in America. Um, it's a big deal. It's, I mean, it's a big deal overall for the gay community. It was not as much of a big deal for me since gay marriage was already legal in my state, but, um, huge deal, um, which, surprisingly, on my personal Facebook, I didn't see a whole lot of hate from, um, as much as I did with this Confederate flag bullshit, just not even going to dive deep into that. I have my opinions on it. Everyone is entitled to their own opinions. I'm not going to dive too deep into my opinions on Confederate flag and all that bullshit. Do your history lessons and you'll understand. So, um, what else? One thing I did want to talk to you guys about is, I don't know if this is just my city, my state, but where I live, it's generally pretty, like, I live in Iowa. When you think of Iowa, you think Podunk, you think, you know, bumfuck nowhere, whatever, but in the last couple months, there's been an extreme spike in, like, major violence. Not just, like, gunshots or whatever, because, I mean, last summer we had a shit ton of gunshots on my street. But, like, a month or two ago, this guy who was a security officer at the mall went and, like, he quit, and then he went home and got a 9mm Glock, came home, or came back to the mall and shot this girl three times in the back due to sexual harassment charges which, to me, is just mind-boggling. Like, how can people do that? Um, somebody got stabbed outside a restaurant here, like, that same day, like, an hour later, tw like, four miles outside of where that was at, somebody got shot. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, I shouldn't have to worry about, and I do, and this is part of my anxiety, which you guys know I have, and whatnot. And it's... It shouldn't be a thing where you go into a store and you profile people in the fact of the way they act, the way they do things, and you get, like, that idea of, you you know, you shouldn't have that fear in the back of your head that anytime, anywhere you're at, somebody could come in and shoot you or shoot someone or stab someone or whatever, and you have to worry about it. Because it's, it's sad that that's what our society is going to and being that kind of ridiculous that it is. And... The thing is, I find, especially on Facebook, I find that people need something new to bitch about every single day. Um, whether it's the Confederate flag bullshit, or gay marriage being legal in every single state, or... I mean, if it's not one thing, it's another, and it's always something, and that's just kind of mass media. And to me, it's... I don't understand our, like, issues with needing to bitch about things and needing to, like blow things up way more than they are, especially when it's not even that big of a deal. And, like, people just being uneducated about things, and, like, in my town, we have, like, red light, we have red light cameras and speed cameras, so, like, if you're going over the speed limit on the interstate in certain spots, they will snag you. And people talk about it as a trap, and that, you know, I shouldn't have to pay it because there's no guarantee that it was actually me driving the car, even though I was driving the car, but... You know, that type of stuff, and, like, people blow it up all over Facebook and about, like, well, it's stupid, and I shouldn't have to pay it, and it shouldn't affect me, except for, you know, never know if it was someone borrowing my car and they did it, and I'm not going to pay them, it's a trap. They've been there for two years in the same damn spot. It's not a trap, you know that they're slow the hell down. Like, I, I've i never gotten one by the speed cameras because I know they're there, and why speed? I mean, if you're going to speed, that's fine, do it safely, but... If you know that there's going to be a camera there that's going to get you a ticket, you knew this, you were doing over the speed limit, why bitch about it? We'll suffer your consequences. So, um, I don't, also don't like how a lot of times people nitpick over people's arguments and, like, not arguments, but, like, people's disorders and, like, whatnot. And people who have things like I do, I have major anxiety, major depression on certain things, and this is kind of my outlet that you guys help me, believe it or not, you guys really do help me. Um... And it's just the fact of, it's not something most people who have it talk about a lot because having it is something you can never get rid of. It's something you can learn to manage and deal with and live with.
but it's something you'll never get rid of and having people there to constantly remind you that you have it and put you down because you haven't say you're weird because you have it or whatever is just ridiculous to me um i i've noticed a lot on social medias about people being dramatic about things and blowing things away out of proportion on stupid things and not understanding people's opinions on things and rights on things and everyone has their opinion on everything and I I guess that my bottom dollar on that is everyone has their own opinions everyone has their own reasons for things and telling somebody they're wrong or getting mad at someone for their opinion or whatever is not right in any way shape or form you might think the sky is blue and <coughs> someone might think the sky is green and you know is what it is so I mean that's really all there um, I know back in January when I started doing perfume talks, like, more often, I said I was going to start doing, like, monthly favorites, so I'm going to throw monthly favorites in here. This month, my monthly favorite for a song, and I know it's been out since, like, May, but I've been really playing it a lot lately, is Little Mix's Black Magic. Love that song. I've got it stuck in my head, like, 24-7. Um, right now, I'm absolutely loving... Um, since he's bring back my bar from last month, they brought back a set called Flirtatious, which in a way kind of smells like DKNY's Be Delicious, and it's amazing, and I love it. I've been kind of obsessing about that. Bath and Body Works scent, that's my favorite, has been right now, has been, um, the, uh, Hawaii Passion Fruit Kiss. I've been wearing that a lot. Um, perfume-wise, I've been wearing Mad Potion a lot. Also been wearing, um, I wore... Heat Wild Orchid the other night for the first time in a long time. I wore J a couple days. Or not J, uh, Near Dusk a couple times. I wore, um, Wonderstruck for the first time in almost a year the other day. That was, I mean, that was a throwback and it was fun for a throwback, but, you know. Um, anything else I have talked about? I, I feel like I'm missing some perfumes and I can't really think of any off the top of my head that I'm missing that are new coming out. Um, you guys saw that I just did a review for, um, Jennifer Anderson's new perfume called Near Dusk. I did one for the Brazilian exclusive called For You for One Direction. Um, Marc Jacobs Decadence, which is a whole new pillar fragrance. The whole new pillar fragrance from Mariana is still planning to come out. Um, other than that, I can't really think of anything. So... This perfume talk wasn't as long as it, they normally are, but it's longer than last month. So, as always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. And follow me on Twitter, Ada's Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. The links are in the description below. And as always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Bye.